So guys, we're down at Timworth Golf Course and we're gonna do a quick what's in the bag for Egg Courtney. Here he is. Here's the man. So I've got myself um, just a normal standard tailor-made carry bag and I'm repping on here. I've got my Timworth Golf Club uh, towel on here. I'm a member up at Timworth. As you can see there, it's nicely embroidered and everything on there. Bit Very mucky. nice. Bit mucky, but it's in a bag. Right. Don't run that many clubs in the bag, to be honest. I've just got my iron set. Yeah. So I'm running Ping G400 Blue Dots. These are sort of um, game improvement irons. They're a bit messy, but you can hit some absolute bombs with these. You should always hit a club up. You've been um, hitting some cracking shots with yeah, them Yeah, yeah, you can hit, hit them absolutely miles. They really are game improvement irons. So anybody who's looking to improve their game, highly yeah. recommend getting them irons. Um, I've got my wedges, so I've got a uh, tale of two stories here. So I've got my Titleist Vokey SM7, 56 degree. Absolutely brilliant club. It just stops the ball dead on the green. And at the other end of the spectrum, I've got my trusty old house and 60 degree. Now this thing's been battered and bruised and used. I inherited this one from uh, Seb, who you see his bag in a second, but that thing's getting me out of the bunkers. It's a, it's a good old club. You don't mind smashing it about in the bunkers. It's good. It's what um, it's about. I've got my Cobra Speed Zone Freewood. And again, this is a lovely club. You can hit some lovely, lovely shots of this. This has got a stiff, um, stiff leg shaft on it. What I did have before was a, another Ping G400 Freewood. And right move to this because it's got a stiffer stiffer shaft can hit it a bit harder nice um, paired with that i've got my callaway rogue driver obviously get a load of the head on that bad boy um, bit of rogue yeah it's a, it's a good driver again quite forgiving makes a cracking noise when you do smack it well but don't always smack it well which is the issue and then to finish off i've got old reliable putter now this is a bit battered and bruised this putter it's one of the first putters i've got I haven't bothered upgrading it and it's just seen me trusty it's the um odyssey it's just a normal, it's a normal uh, blade putter, hot white face. Hot white face. It's just a job. You can see, you can see the um, the grip on it's all going. I don't want to get it regrip. <laughs> Nothing. Do say don't change. See, I don't want to change grip, it. It just it works for me. Yeah. I can putt with it. You know, I've, I've nearly nearly bought a new putter. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Absolutely, and that and that's the sort of philosophy I've taken with this pack. I like the you. head cover on that. Yeah, yeah, got this head cover, believe it or not, because I lost my head cover in a really nasty storm up at Exminster while I was playing uh, golf. You can get this on Amazon, I think it's only about twelve ninety nine, so it's quite a cool little head cover. So what's your favourite club in your bag? Um, to be honest with you, I would say probably the Freewood, if I'm being honest with you. Like when that does come off the club nice, it really, really comes off the club nice, makes a great noise. It is quite new, it's one of the newer clubs in the bag. What's your um, worst? Worst, worst oh, the house and definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's a love hate relationship with this club. I love it, but it is definitely. I mean, this is worth about fifty p. So <laughs> I wouldn't give it up though. But like you yeah. said, it doesn't matter. You can just whack it all day, and the fact it's probably helping you mindset wise. Yeah, it, it, it is. You don't you, you don't care about it. I mean, no. especially when you're playing in some of these bunkers in Timber, you'll see there's rocks, there's stones. Yeah. Um, I'm not panicking about it. I've not got my worried about my clubs being scratched up. I can bung it in the back of my car, and yeah. if it did break, though, I probably would cry. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for that, Ed. No, no problem. Um, I'm sure we're going to have a, a rematch soon. Touch wood, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. win this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, mate. No worries, thank you. So that was Ed's What's in the Bag. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, guys.